Yo, what's going on guys? Invective back here again with another YouTube video. Uh, today I'm going to be coming at you with the new April Fool stuff that's just gone live on Global. So the stuff's gone live on Global now and you can go ahead and collect these two amazing new free to play units. And also there's some really cool fun stuff in the game as well. So I just really want to show you guys these units because um, I've been grinding them out and I'm ready to 100% them. So you do get a whole bunch of missions and stuff. But first of all, let's go ahead and show you guys the units. So these are the brand, two, brand new two units. We've got the Goku, um, which is from the battle against Vegeta that, you know, it's got that old school stance and everything, but it's uh, in 8-bit. So if any if you, any of you guys played the old school Pokemon Leaf Green, Fire Red, or you played some of the old school uh, Dragon Ball games on the Game Boy Advance or anything, you'd, you'd remember this artwork, uh, this sort of style and everything, 8-bit. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's a, very, um, it's a very pixelated sort of, uh, very cool little scheme. So you've got the Goku and you've got the Vegeta. So uh, yeah, these two units are really good and um, they're free to play units. And they're free to play units that also give a category boost to the Goku's family. So, and uh, the Vegeta's family. So the Goku, basically what he does, he gives a category boost to the Goku's family. So he gives Goku's family category key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 44%. So a great free to play unit and a great leader for a free to play team. And he causes supreme damage to enemy and raises his attack for four turns. So he can buff his own attack the next time he comes back on the rotation. And then his passive skill is uh, attack plus 80%. 8% at the start of the turn and defense plus 88% when performing a super attack so he's uh, already got the attack ready to go as soon as the turn starts off attack plus 88% that's pretty good so his links um, for the main links the ones that you're interested in he's got prepared for battle he's got senior, senior uh, prepared for battle that's key plus two saying lineage key plus one all in the family is defense 15% in fire as attack plus 10% and enemies defense down 10% um Kamehameha which gives him attack plus 2500 percent and Saiyan Warrior Race which gives him attack plus 700 which is great and then uh let's go ahead and check out the Vegeta so that that was the Goku and the Vegeta is basically uh Vegeta's family category key plus four HP attack and defense plus 44 percent which is amazing as well for a free to play unit uh, causes supreme damage and raises defense instead of attack. So this guy is more for he raises defense for four turns So he'll stack his defense the next time he comes around and then um, he Gives himself defense plus 88 percent at the start of the turn and attack plus 88 percent When performing a super attack, so he's a defensive to start off with and then he's got same warrior race which is uh, attack plus uh, 700 uh, prepared for battle which is key plus two uh, Royal Lineage key plus one, Prodigies 10% uh, attack, Saiyan Lineage which is another key plus one, and over 9,000 which is attack plus 10%. Alright, um, I think they buffed over 9,000 because I know it didn't do attack plus 10% before. It used to give attack plus uh, 900 I think, uh, but yeah, and they buffed Saiyan Warrior Race because that was attack plus 500 before the last time I checked, but now it's attack plus 700. So I think they're giving the, some of the lesser links a bit of a buff. But yeah, let's go ahead and rainbow these guys. So if you want to rainbow these guys, by the way, if you're late to the event and you haven't done the event of, uh, before, so if you come in after April Fools uh, and you didn't have these units and you want to grind out these units and you just seen this event, uh, basically you can do the actual event and within the event, there be a stage where you can collect all of the orbs needed so we'll just go ahead, ahead and knock out one version of the event um in part one you get the vegeta and then in part two you get the goku so uh let's go ahead and do one part of the event and the event is all 8-bit which is amazing uh, the event's all 8-bit so look, you can take any team and you don't get any uh special buffs or anything to collect uh, the stuff quicker but in part one uh you collect medium and small orbs and then part two you collect the large orbs and it always gives you a cycle of one so you're always going to get a cycle of one so you can go ahead and collect them so in part two here you go you're going to get nothing but large orbs and part one is small and medium orbs so yeah you can go ahead and collect them but if you've logged in for the april fools um they will give you the rewards for free they'll give they'll give you everything for free so you don't have to collect them but if you come in later on down the line 
and you want to rainbow these units, you're going to have to collect them manually like so. So yeah, the, the event is pretty easy. So you get a fight against the little 8-bit Goku with the 8-bit theme and the 8-bit music and everything. It's, it's real nice. It's real nice. I like it. It's a little touch of nostalgia. Uh, I think Dokkan needs to do a bit more of these goofy, relaxed sort of events. It would be really cool. So yeah, I'm using this uh, Gogeta and everything. Obviously, very nice, powerful unit. And yeah, you will knock out the event in one go. The Goku ain't really that strong. And that's it. You, you have a chance to get either a training item or a character. Most likely you want to get a character. If you don't get a character, it feels bad. But yeah, that's the whole point of grinding. So this is another grind for you to do of some really cool units. Really cool units. So yeah, there, there's that clear and everything. So after you've cleared, um, if, you, if you get them to super attack 8 just from doing the event, itself and you don't collect any rewards you can collect the rewards after you get them to super attack 8 and open up all the unlock paths so there you get you get a whole bunch of stuff and then once you edit if you check the missions there's a whole bunch of missions and stuff for you to collect here so by raising your super attack up to seven you get uh you get to collect two additional copies of the units themselves so let's go ahead and accept all of those okay cool and then uh, you'll get a whole bunch of dragon stones after you've 100 percent in them and super attack 10 and everything and you've done all the missions and rewards so all of this will complete as soon as i've rainbowed the units so let's go ahead and do that right now so we're going to train up the goku so that's sa10 done begin okay cool all right time for some training Alright, great. And then uh, we train up the Vegeta as well. You can see that's another mission done. So that's those two there. Begin. Okay, cool. So that's uh, both of them All super right. attack 10. Time for some training. So, okay, cool. And then uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and do the hidden potential. So uh, they get the free to play hidden potential system, which is a bit of a more of a wonky looking one but if you've done the yeah, the free to play easy a, um well he's not easy a yet but the goku jr it's like that so there's quite a lot to fill up so what i'm going to give the goku is i'm probably going to give him eight additional 15 crit and three dodge that, that's that's what i'm thinking so yeah let's give him let's give him i want to give him three dodge no matter what because he's a free to play unit. Let's, let's just see what we can get. We're going to go ahead and mash out his uh, free to play team. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Before we do all that. Sorry, completely forgot. Before we do all that. They have given out the potential orbs for free. They're all here. So, if you've logged in uh, during the April Fool celebration. So, anytime between now. Uh, between this video going live. And the next three weeks you'll be able to collect this in your inbox. So go ahead and log in and grab these. So we're going to collect the small orbs, and collect the medium orbs, and we collect the large orbs. And there should be enough here to go ahead and rainbow all the units. So uh, it's just the two units. We go back in. Okay, let's knock this out. Give him the, let's give him as much critical as we can first. They have quite a big um, potential system as well, so yeah, there we go, there we go, yeah, we've got, we've got quite a lot to do, but yeah, that's this unit, and then uh, give him another four there, and then we give him, yeah, you can give him 20 on the crit, but I wouldn't give him 20 on the crit, maybe I'd give him some. Yeah, give him def defense, I'd say, because these are free-to-play units. They do need to be defensively strong. So, yeah, yeah, you can pretty much um, just 100% these units, which is great. Um, give him some more crit. Give him some more crit. Oh, God, yeah, you, c you can give him 20 crit if you wanted. Actually, no, you can't give him 20 crit. You can only give him... Wait, you can't. Yeah, you can. You can. You can just give him 20 crit and be done with him, right? That's a bit... Nah, that doesn't seem right. Alright, I'm not going to give him, like, just 20 crit. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him something else here. I'm 
I'm gonna give him two dodge. I wanna give him four additional. I actually just changed that a bit more. Let's give him yeah, we give him the defense. And we give him yeah, we give him that. Yeah, we give him that. I wanna give him at least uh Yeah, that seems about right. 7 11? Nah, that's. Something, something ain't right about that. Let's give him crit there. Give him that there. Obviously, you can play around and find your sweet spot. Nah, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable with giving him 7 11. Uh, we'll just give him 4 14 too. That seems about right. Four fourteen two. Seems about right. And, that, and that's the Goku done. And that's the mission complete. And uh, I think I'll give the Vegeta the same. I'll give him four fourteen two as well. So yeah, let's pick a character. So yeah, they give you enough to one hundred percent the units. Uh, so yeah, let's make him defensively strong. Give him four fourteen two as well. Obviously, since the Vegeta is a agility unit, he'd get more additional. Uh, actually, I, I don't uh, actually. Let's just give him the two dodge here and we'll work out everything else later. Uh, give him the supers. Give him that there. Give him that there. And everything else, I'll just give him crit. Crit there. Another crit here. Oh, actually, we'll give him additional here. So yeah, this this is a bit more. Uh, we'll give him another additional there. All right. So the Vegeta will be doing more additionals. Goku will be doing more crits. Which is yeah, seems like yeah yeah. All right then. And that's it, that's that done as well. So that's both the units rainbowed 100%. Um, they don't get the typical free to play um, potential. They get plus 4,000, which is which is pretty good. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. So if you see the characters, let's see who that is. All right, Siri, all right. I don't understand. Characters resume my... All right, I didn't ask Siri to do that. Thank you very much though. So yeah, that's the max. That's Vegeta's max, so he gets 9,800 HP, 10,000 attack, 8,000 defense, which is good, that's good. Pretty good, that's pretty good. No, 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 what about the Goku? Yeah, oh! So Goku gets uh, 100 more defense, and the Vegeta gets... Uh, oh, no, 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 the Goku gets 100 more attack, bringing him at 1,100, and uh, the, Go uh, the Vegeta gets uh, 100 more defense. So they only have 100 between each other. So yeah, that's uh, both the units rainbowed, and then after you've rainbowed them, you can go ahead and collect your rewards. So, um, yeah, let's go to the event. So if you go to the actual event here, you can go ahead and collect the rewards. And yeah, there's there, there's all those dragon stones. So after you rainbow them, they get all these dragon stones. So you get one, and you get another three there, that's four. Get another one, that's five. Get another one, that's six. You get another one, you get seven. So you get seven dragon stones for just going go ahead and rainbowing these units, and that's that's pretty much it, man. So yeah, uh those, that's pretty much the units in the event, guys. Hopefully, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. Make sure you subscribe for more uh Dokkan content. I'll definitely be keeping you guys up to date, and I will be doing a summoning video on the cooler banner which is coming out tonight. So Make sure you look forward to that. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's Invective Menace. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.